With Battlefield 1 expected to be shown at EA Play over at E3 in a couple of weeks time, a lot of people these past couple of weeks have been clutching at straws in regards to any bits and bobs of information that they can gather from Battlefield 1. A leak that was posted last week over on Reddit with the alleged names of all of the maps coming to Battlefield 1 is now proving to be a little bit more legitimate with a brand new post over on Reddit stating that one of the maps within this list is actually within the Battlefield 1 trailer. I'm going to leave all of the links down in the description below to all of the sources, but in this video I thought it would be a very good idea to read out all of the maps that was apparently leaked, and this way we can decide moving forward if these maps are indeed legitimate. So first of all, let's cover Anzet Cove. This is the map that has been found within the trailer. As you can see on screen right now, towards the top of the image, this is the actual map of the location and towards the bottom we see Anzet Cove within the Battlefield 1 trailer. Apparently this was mentioned by Level Cap as some kind of D-Day map. We know that Battlefield YouTubers have gone out to EA and played Battlefield 1 and seen a lot of exclusive content and therefore we can assume that this map is coming to the game and will be called Anzek Cove. Apparently this is going to be something like a D-Day map so it's going to be interesting to see how this one plays out. We do see some battleships off the coast of this map and well it will be interesting moving forward to see if these warships will be functionable and if we're going to be able to play them with in the multiplayer side of the game. Now, moving forward, I'm going to read out the rest of the map names. You do need to bear in mind that this is apparently leaked information. None of this information is legitimate until it's been announced by DICE or EA. So let's get into it. The first one is called Azigo Offensive, which is going to be an Italian Alps map. So we can assume this to be some kind of uh, snowy slash rocky map. So that is some pretty exciting information there. The next one will be called Gaza Sands, which will be a desert map. We've seen a lot of desert settings within the Battlefield 1 trailer and it's pretty evident that with Battlefield 1 we will see a lot of sandy typed maps with the sandy environments. The next one will be called the Siege of Damascus which is going to be some kind of desert slash urban map so that is something to bear in mind as well. The next one will be called Stalemate and the person has put that it sounds like a Flanders Fields kind of deal if you're not sure about Flanders Fields. Well it's just a common term analogy used by English in the in regards to World War One battlefields. More commonly we know No Man's Land has been probably the most famous Flanders fields and uh, now a lot of poppies of course grow in those areas in which a lot of those World War One battlefields took place. Of course we have Anzet Cove up next. Then we have Garden Twilight. There is no information on this at the moment. It sounds like it could possibly be a nighttime map so that is something uh, very cool indeed. The next one is called Argon Shade. Probably the forest map we saw in the trailer, so we did see a little bit of that within the trailer, so that's going to be interesting to see if that makes it into multiplayer. The next one will be called Operation Castlewick. No idea, maybe referencing something towards the campaign the person has put, so who knows on that. The next one will be called Scorched Earth, which of course does sound like another desert map within Battlefield 1 as well. Now, also towards the end of the article, he has stated that now according to the source, these may or may may not be the actual titles used in the game, but they were definitely at least working titles or suggested titles at some point. So like I said at the beginning of the video, that none of this information has been confirmed by DICE or EA at the moment. Of course, this is probably a little kind of disclaimer by the Redditor to uh, state that if something does come out similar to a desert map, then he can just state that, oh yeah, this was meant to be Gaza Sands, for example. So, going to be interesting to see how that plays out. I definitely Definitely think that there is some plausibility to these maps. Definitely the settings, who knows about the names. But with somebody over on Reddit finding a map within the Battlefield 1 trailer that describes Anzet Cove pretty accurately, it does give me a little bit of an indication that this could be some legitimate information. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave the video as that. I've been Long Sensation. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.